Good evening and welcome to Cricket Aim and Season 9 right here on CNN News 18. I'm your host for tonight, Sanjeev Mukherjee. And of course, uh, tonight, be besides talking about the big game, Mumbai Indians versus Kings 11 Punjab, we'll also have two special gentlemen, two lions of Gujarat, if I could say. Uh, joining me tonight right in the studio in a dapper suit is Keshav Bansal. He's the owner, you all know, of the Gujarat Lions. He has this big smile on his face <laughs> and we're going to ask him why is he smiling so much in just a bit. We are also will be joined by the other Gujarat Lion. In fact, this one is from Ahmedabad, Shishir Ratangadi, who's uh, raring to go tonight. Uh, former Mumbai Ranji captain and also a resident of Ahmedabad, still stuck in between whether he should call himself a Mumbai car <laughs> or a Gujarati <laughs> when it comes to talking about uh, cricket and the Gujarat Lions. We'll come to Keshav and Shishir in just a bit, but let, uh, before that, Let's take you through what's on the menu tonight. Yes, the defending champions, Mumbai Indians, of course, look to climb to the top three of the season nine standings as they take on bottom place Kings 11 Punjab at the alternate ground, home ground, Vizag. Now, Mumbai come into tonight's clash on the back of a convincing win over Royal Challengers Bangalore. A team Punjab lost two in their last outing. Right, now with uh, 42 games played and 14 left in the league stage, here's a look at how the IPL points table is uh, shaping up. Now, Sunrise's uh, Hyderabad's uh, grip on the summit of the standings is a little loose after defeat to Delhi last night. Delhi, in turn, have climbed to third spot. Two small, uh, points adrift of Hyderabad and, of course, uh, Gujarat. Uh, Kolkata Knight Riders uh, make up for the top half of the table. They tally almost identical to Delhi, as you can see. But defending champions Mumbai will climb into that top half with a win tonight over bottom of the table Punjab. If they do win, that is. Bangalore and Pune occupy 6th and 7th spot respectively. Right, let's uh, get cracking on this one. Shishir, uh, first, here's uh, Keshav Bansal. I believe Keshav, uh, Keshav, welcome you from our uh, studios here in Delhi. Keshav, all yours. What do you want to say to Shishir? Welcome, Shishir. Um, Glad to be with you over here for the first time and um, how proud are you of your team Gujarat? <laughs> I don't know whether you're supporting Gujarat or not. That's a good, go that's a good one. That's a good one. Come on, Shishit. Open up. Open up. Come on. Well, you know, Keshav, I must be honest, uh, when, uh, when the tournament started, you know, we've, and I've been, I've been part of two franchises uh, uh, which have finished last in their first year. So, uh, you know, I'm a little wary of uh, how franchises do in the first year. So, so, so when it, when the two franchises took over, I was uh, and one of your teams, I was I was skeptical. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think that you know the team could be so cohesive in its first year because you get you take time to get used to players, uh, environment, franchisees, owners. You know everything is a learning curve. But hats off to you guys. You you guys have really sur surpassed my expectations and finished where you are, which is which is. Obviously, something right that you have done right from day one, and uh, you and the team, and uh, congratulations to you for that, because I'll tell you what, it's a tough job to get a team together, especially, you yeah. know, new faces, new people, uh, and you've done it well, you've, you're now second, mm. but I, let me, you know, have a rider here that this week is going to be very, very crucial, because you can see all these teams are sort of catching up in the top cluster, right. so all the best to you, of course, uh, if you just keep playing the way you are, uh, it'll be good to see you in that playoff and uh, hopefully you can do it. Right, one yeah. one Gujarat line to the other. <laughs> Keshav Bansal, of course you heard uh, Shishir. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm sure you're not worrying about that, about uh, teams starting in the first year and finish, uh, finishing with a, uh, you know, with a wooden spoon because that's certainly not the case. You must be very, very happy at the outset with the way your team has performed. As uh, Shishir Raisha rightly said, and he's, he's an experienced hand, old hand in uh, working with IPL. It's not really an uh, easy task. First of all, sitting there at the auction table, picking up those big star players, making sure your selection is right, spot on. Then the team gels well, the support comes, you get a home ground, and it's on. Well, definitely, Sanjeev. Uh, I mean, for us, you know, um, we, this is a complete new vertical for us. We, we, we've been into manufacturing of mobiles, because mm. we, we've been a consumer brand, consumer durable brand, and coming into the space is completely a... Isn't this also a consumer brand? Yes, it is a consumer the brand. Line. Isn't it, that also? Yes, it is, but uh, definitely it's a complete new structure, it's a complete new vertical, complete new environment. So yes, uh, we've been facing, we, we had some initial hiccups, we had some initial challenges, but uh, um, I was personally very, very uh, sensitive, you know, that's why I, I've been a hands-on owner, because it's really important. Uh, we are kind of a representative 
representing uh, the state of Gujarat across the entire globe. So you have to be extra sensitive about that. But yes, we, we, we've had some exciting times um, start right from the auction day. Uh, it was really important. You know, auction was one of the mm. mo one of the most uh, key uh, moments for us because that's how, that's actually determines the complete course of action. And uh, yes, thank you, Sushir. Um, the idea was definitely uh, to build a you know. Um, a balanced uh, team and you know uh, have a uh, balanced uh, uh, mixture of the players and uh, I, I'm quite happy you know we, we had uh, in mind certain players we had a certain strategy in mind I'm, I'm quite happy as an owner I we we managed to pull off all the players which we had thought in terms of our priority and uh, at the end of the day it was a happy shopping day after uh, the auction right in fact you know what uh, Shishir it generally is a very nice guy kind man but he's not so generous with his praise the way he praised you you know that sort of gave me the story that of course you've done something really good because Shishir is not so generous with his praise but it would have been better if Keshav you were here with me and Shishir on the day Gujarat plays uh, uh, Mumbai because then we would have got to know uh, which way Shishir is going to bat for but uh, I'll come back to Gujarat Lions uh, in just a bit but before that the game which is on hand uh, Shishir uh, Mumbai Indians uh, looking to seal the deal, get, trying to get back into the top four against Kings eleven Punjab tonight. Uh, how do you reckon this one will go? Well, it should go uh, the way Mumbai have played. You know, they've, uh, they've picked up and they've started playing well. But uh, let's not forget Gujarat. Uh, uh, sorry, I keep saying Gujarat. Uh, it's uh, Punjab <laughs> have nothing to lose. I, I, I don't mind. And, I, uh, I really don't mind uh, that coming in, Sishir. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what, uh, this could be, this could be, uh, it, it's, it's a playing for nothing and you know, play, playing for a lot of pride and you shed your inhibitions now uh, as Punjab would have. Mm. Uh, they could turn up there and getting up on the right side of the bed and uh, just, you know, bring that smile back on Preeti Zinta's face because oh, yes. uh, from what we saw, she was quite distraught last week, la the last game, you know, oh, after yes. they lost. So, uh, we, we hope that uh, it's going to be a good game. But on paper, you know, on paper, cricket matches are never won or lost. Uh, it's on that particular day. And, you know, on paper, we have to say uh, Mumbai is playing well. They're a better side. But by God, if they lose today, then again, you know, they're creating problems for themselves. And Punjab, they have nothing to lose. I mean, they can just create a couple of upsets and spoil some parties along the way, uh, which couldn't be very pleasant for the teams that are in the top half of the table. That's right. And the fact is, you know, you know looking at... Uh, the way Mumbai have played. Mm. The fact is that more, more or less in this IPL for eight or nine seasons, we've seen a story repeating itself that you need your star players, your captain to perform always. But like Mumbai's case, Rohit Sharma, of course, the bulwark of the team. But the fact is that they've still gone on to win matches even when their captain is not performing. In a certain way, some way Suresh Rana, fantastic batsman, has got the highest number of appearances in the IPL, the most number of runs. What else do you need from the yeah, auction dealer? Yeah. But there are times when Suresh hasn't really yeah. been at his very best. But still the team comes forward and does the trick. That in itself is an achievement, be it Mumbai Indians or a Gujarat Lions. Well, I, um, that's a very important point which you uh, raised, Sanjeev. And I think I, I keep telling everyone, um, everyone keeps asking me, what is the reason for Gujarat's success? And you guys are performing so well in the first year. Well, most importantly, it's really important for everyone to cling on together, perform as a team. You know, uh, uh, really, we, we had uh, some really pressure games mm. and, you know, uh, uh, match going till the last. Uh, Last, last over, ball, yeah. last ball. So it's really important. Um, you know, uh, there are days where your star players might not perform, but it's really important. You know, the middle order, uh, low down the order. You don't really need to be, uh, you know, be performing on a, a, every day. Uh, it's it's understandable that some of your players might not really click. So uh, I think uh, all in all, it's really important for the team to be together and make sure they complement each other. Sometimes your bowling might not be uh, so strong as uh, as your batting. So mm -hmm. and if you see the way IPLs uh, sh uh, shaping up, uh, you know, the most consistent performing teams throughout the years it's always been a team effort it, mm. it, 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 it can never it be, be on it just can never be a one man army uh, i personally really like virat kohli and uh, uh, b before gujarat lions i was definitely uh, you know i don't know whether I'm, sure. I'm, <laughs> sure. I'm sure i'm sure so um, uh, but uh, you know ultimately you need to uh, understand that ipl and cricket that that's the beauty of cricket you know you have to come on in as a team and you know you have to stay together understand mm. uh, uh, suresh rana is a fantastic captain i mean the way uh, we are, we all are really impressed I, I i knew that he's got some leadership traits and that's why we gave him the captaincy hat but 
ultimately if you see him on the field he's so calm he's so composed he know he knows exactly mm. knows when to bring in which bowler how to shuffle those cards around that's really more important mm. and i think some players clicking on sunday some players not clicking on the, that's the part and parcel of the game but ultimately you have to go together with that pump with that passion i'm sure you're learning uh, many more important lessons about uh, a consumer industry yes. of an entirely <laughs> different nature shishi uh, you know, what's interesting is that, you know, st uh, taking a, just a cue from what uh, just mentioned, in fact, we're going to grill him about his hairstyle, which I find <laughs> remarkably close to something which Virat Kohli had in the recent past. And I'm going to ask him whether he's exchanging notes about hairstyles with Ravindra Jadeja, <laughs> since he's got the opportunity. But Shishir, staying on with Kings Eleven Punjab, as you asked, uh, uh, the common headline would have been, Preeti Zinta ko gussa ke hai. But the fact is that, it's not a happy team when you have an owner come into a dressing room per se, even though the disappointment of losing a game is great and you think that a certain player should have batted at a certain position or fielded a bowl, that you come and use four-letter words for your coach in front of the team. That's not done. Well, uh, that's, these, are, these are what the reports say and we've been reading and Kesha will know this, that, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a very, very uh, thin line beti between uh, enthusiasm, ownership and also, you know, involvement. And Kesha will, would know where to draw that line because I think most owners over the years have realized that uh, there, is, there is the cricketing side to things and there is uh, the administrative and, you know, the, the franchise's responsibility. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it happens because of just, you know, over-involvement and wanting good out of your franchise. And you don't know where you bowl a no-ball in a cricketing sense, you know. And you have to be able to be inside the line empower the gentlemen mm. who are appointed to run the cricket to, to be able to take that complete irresponsibility and back them. But sometimes what happens is, uh, Sanjeev, you and I know it, we've been getting excited in the studios time and time again about certain decisions made. So you can just understand how uh, owners and uh, franchisees feel about certain things at times. So it is a different space, you know, this franchisee cricket, because passions are high. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's about uh, also, you know, value for money for every player that you, that you get into your side. So you want to make maximum use. And sometimes, right. sadly, in, in sport, two and two never make four. You never make four. You know that. We've, we've seen so many players being bought for huge amounts. And right. sometimes when you evaluate their value for money, it doesn't happen. So, yes, it's... Uh, I look, yeah, I've lost two jobs because of this. Because you <laughs> finished last. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder, what is Shishi doing outside our IPL franchise? I really don't get the point. Uh, on one hand, he's a cricketer here. It's cricket and entertainment at the same time together. Cricketer par excellence. But he has so much of wonder about... Uh, the workings, inside workings yeah. of an IPL. I wonder what you're doing here. You should, must be joining a team <laughs> next year. But uh, staying on with a quick one on the game before we go into a break. Uh, Glenn Maxwell is back in place of Farhan Barhadian. Uh, Sheshir, do you think uh, a little too late in the day perhaps for Kings 11 Punjab, even if their uh, foreign imports uh, turn on the heat tonight? See, Glenn, Glenn Maxwell himself uh, would feel that he's let uh, his team down because, you know, he's, he's, been a, he's been a big picking for them, for Punjab. And the fact is that uh, he'll be the first to admit that he hasn't delivered as expected for whatever reasons. That's the way he plays. When he's in form, he can win you games. But him coming in again mm. is something that is such a tempting proposition because like Chris Gale, like uh, Dwayne Smith, like uh, right. McCullum, mm. like uh, Aaron Finch, these guys can win you games. And I'm not just promoting Gujarat Lions here today. I'm talking about players who can, one, win you games on their own and bring in people through the turnstiles to watch you. And if that happens... That, then at least there is some pride in playing today because, you know, it's a Maxwell who can win you a game against a strong Mumbai Indians team. So why not back him even right. if he hasn't shown, hasn't shown the best of form? He hasn't shown the best of form. Well, we'll, uh, we'll stay on uh, with this uh, rather entertaining discussion. It's good to have a guest in the studio, Keshav. And, uh, of course, we're going to grill him about his hairstyle and a little bit more. But uh, right now, well, it's quiz time once again on cricketainment. So get ready. Here's your question. Like always, you can win a cricket bat on this show. Here tonight, the question is very simple. Who is the only bowler to have won the purple cap in India's professional T20 league on two occasions? The options are A, Sunil Narayan, B, Dwayne Bravo. Well, Bravo is right now playing in the team which this gentleman who is sitting here in the studio owns. Remember to send in your answers, SMS, CKQ, all in caps, option A or B. 
with your name and the city you come from to 51818. Remember, contest is open to viewers in India only. And before we move on, here is the result from the 12th of May. The question was, which team has the most number of last place finishes in the history of India's professional T20 league? Shishir was not allowed to answer the question. The answer is with Delhi Daredevils and the Kings 11, 11 Punjab is the option. The right answer, of course, Delhi Daredevils and the winner is Vinod Karkol from Bengaluru. Congratulations, Vinod, on winning this cricket bat here on Cricketainment. It's time for a short break here on the show. When we come back... Just a little bit more with Keshav and Shashid, the two lines from Gujarat right here on CNN News 18. This is where all the news is, so stay right here. Welcome back to Cricket Inman. Now, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Yes, news uh, from the field of, uh, field of uh, football. He said he came like a king and he's leaving like a legend. He has decided to leave uh, PSG, perhaps for greener pastures in the English Premier League. Uh, but getting back to Cricket Inman, back to Shishir, and of course the dapper gentleman sitting, Shah Bansal. Now, I'll get Shishir to ask you a quick, uh, quick question. Shishir, aren't you, uh, don't you think his hairstyle is remarkably similar to <laughs> that of Virat Kohli? I, are you doing the styling for you? I'll place? tell you what. If Kesha were to, if if Kesha were to wear his uh, his colours, his Gujarat line colours, and get into the stadium, there might be a protest <laughs> from uh, uh, Royal Challengers Royal. saying that how the hell is Virat going there now? <laughs> so he's got to be careful because this could be, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, it could be trouble for some because you'll never know which side Virat is on. Well, so, friends, uh, first of if all, he yeah, bats half as well as Virat, you never know. He could no, no, probably no, no, pass no, off as Virat. Next, next auction, yeah. No, no, let, let me make it very clear. Uh, it's completely personal to me, and I'm completely, uh, uh, yes, I do, uh, uh, I'm, I am very conscious about styling. Who's your most stylish player? Who do you think is your most stylish? Um, uh, well, uh, both Rena and Jadeja are, uh, both are very stylish. Mm -hmm. Bravo is really stylish when it comes to uh, clothing. So have you, have you picked up the champion song? Has he, <laughs> yes, has he yes, teaching yes. you the moves? Uh, uh, you know, whenever we are chilling, uh, mm. uh, whenever we are together, and uh, Bravo would always, uh, uh, Bravo is really fun to be around, you know, and he makes sure whenever he's there, he, mm. he keeps the environment really light. So whenever, uh, even if we lose a match, after that, if we are chilling, so he, he would just tune into that song and everyone would be like, kya kar rahe, yeah? kya but, kar rahe. And but he's, very, he's, he's a very interesting guy, and, uh, um, and also, he lo loves to DJ, you know. Mm -hmm. So, he would probably grab a console, uh, he, he, he'd take the DJ console and start DJing and for 30, 40 two, uh, minutes, uh, two hours, three hours, and he wouldn't stop. Right. It's quite interesting. And also, to add on, this instance really happened. I wore the team jersey and p people didn't really know. Uh, it was the initial times and people really, uh, uh, a child comes up to me and is like, Sir, can I have an autograph? I was like, I'm a player. Nahi hu. Mm. <laughs> so, they're like, <laughs> so it, it is quite interesting. Well, uh, you know? well, as far as the IPL is concerned, the owners are uh, equally as important. Aren't they, Shishir? Uh, and I'm sure Keshav uh, will uh, lo yeah. love Sanjeev, doing this. Sanjeev, one yeah. minute, Sanjeev, uh, Sanjeev, he has to, he has to compose a Gujarati version of champion because you never know, <laughs> they could be lifting it if they play well in the next next half of the yeah. tournament. Yeah, Shishir, now you've managed to put me in a spot because my producer is hollering in my ear saying time is up, we have got to go. But I promise you this one, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all our viewers here on CNN News 18, that Keshav has given me word during the break that he's going to be back here during the playoffs, hopefully along with Shishir, who will be here in our Delhi studios. And then we are going to do some jamming in whichever yes, language sure. uh, Shishir wants us to. On that note, Keshav, thank you very much once again for Pleasure. taking no the time. Yeah, what's your problem? Quick, 10 seconds, uh, Shishir, come on. Bengali, Bengali, Marathi, Gujarati, where do I go, man? Where do I go? <laughs> India is great. India is great. That's what cricketainment is all about. On that note, Shishir Jatangadi, and of course, Keshav, thank you very much. Pleasure. Completely, completely out of time. We'll be back soon with another edition of this show. Stay right here. This is CNN News 18.